Alright guys, this is one from my classic rockers. You're not going to believe this one. This one's uh, Voodoo Child, Jimi Hendrix. Uh, kind of combined it, I guess, with Stevie Ray Vaughan's cover of it. But uh, we're going to, you know... I'm even doing the beginning. All that stuff. And hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. Decided to give you guys one for free. Didn't want you to go one day without a classic rock uh, lesson. And just to say thank you for all the subscribers, comments, and likes of the videos and all that. To have over 10,000 subscribers on my Web Piano Teacher 2 channel is amazing. When uh, the only tags I ever used were my name in piano lessons. <laughs> so that's a, a great thing. And I just wanted to thank you guys for that. Anyway, um, this here, it, this is not a hired request, so I'm not, you know, doing the the detail that I usually do on, on certain things. I'm just shooting at the, off the hip here. Um, I didn't listen, go back and listen to the old recordings. I'm just doing it from memory, okay? I've heard uh, mostly Stevie Ray Vaughan's cover of this, but I'll, of course, have heard Jimi Hendrix do it. So it might be kind of a combination of the two. Okay, and I do realize that they would tune down a half step to E flat and uh, play it in a half, at a half step lower. I raised it up to E because it's going to be a lot easier for you guys to play this as a, uh, a cover in this key, okay? So don't send me emails and comment, oh, it's supposed to be E flat. I know that. We're just going to play it in standard tuning here for the sake of, uh, of uh, making it easy for you, okay? All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is this little... You know, I've kind of taken a little liberty with it to make it sound good for piano. But let's do something like this. We're going to start with the right hand. Let's kind of flip that E up. All right, I just kind of jotted this down. So D, D sharp E. And I didn't put that, but I'm going two, three, four. And then a D. Then we're going to go. So let's go one, two, three on A, A sharp B. And then a D. So you got to do it fast. And then I go, so two G's, and then I'm going to go G, G sharp A with two, three, four, and then G, E. So, if you want to put an E in the bass, you can do that if you want or, or not. And then we're going to do E, flip the E again, go D, D sharp E with two, three, four, and then D, and then I'm going to go A, A sharp B then a D. So this goes and then I'm going to do a fill because they had a waka 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 on there. We can't do that on piano, you know. But, so we're just going to do this and that's just a little piano device. A, A, I put it in parenthesis because, you know, it's not it's not in there. They don't play that on guitar but we need to do something. A, A sharp B because we can't do waka waka waka. And I'm going to go A, A sharp B and then I'm going to Tremolo, that's a tremolo. When you see piano or, or music notation and the two thick bars are telling you tremolo between two notes, B and D. So, so I'm right here, I'm going to go. So it's kind of a, you know, a little fill, as uh, we would call it. So let's go from here at the beginning. Now we're going to go back. Uh, and do dot to dot, which is from this dot to this dot. All right, then we're going to go triangle to triangle, which is from this triangle to this triangle. And then I'm going to go bum, bum, bum. Now I kind of I condensed that beginning. Okay, you could keep playing uh, these two measures over and over again, but I condensed it, and I'm just going to go. I'm just going to get to the end. Bum, bum, bum. When he goes up high, bum, bum, bum. so we're going to go D and A together, and then flip it to B flat, and then A and D and G. So bum, bum. I'm going to have a little roll. Alright, we'll get into all that. Uh, so let's do the whole intro. I messed up. Uh, let's start again. And then... So this is uh, what we're going to do here, try to imitate this. The bass is real important. The distortion. So I'm going to go down to a real low octave with that E. That's why I wrote a big E. Then I'm going to come up an octave, E, and then G. 
G-sharp. Okay, G, G-sharp with 4-3. Uh, and then an E octave up here, so. And then I'm going to do G-sharp, D, G-natural. You guys hear Stevie Ray Vaughan do that? You know, that's a, a common uh, chord that he uses. I'm sure he got it from Hendrix. E, and then we have G-sharp, D, G. So we have... Just the simplest way to do it. If you want to have an interplay back between your left and right hand, I'm not playing as clearly as I want to on that, but uh, that's that main part. When you, you know, standing next to a mountain, it's just this chord. Chuck it down. So, and that goes on for a while. Now when they change chords, and they go, I'm a voodoo child. We gotta do something on piano to make it, make it sound okay. They do a, a guitar chord that's really cool if you play guitar. Uh, and what it is, it's a B7. This is kind of the voodoo child part, or the, the part where it changes, where it gets off that E chord. No, I'm not real prepared, sorry for the just doing it off from, from memory, but I remember when it changes, it goes to B and then A there, or B flat and A to A flat if you're doing uh, that, that uh, tune low. But A, D sharp, F sharp, and the B, that's a, a B7. Well, on the guitar, they do the chord where they put a D natural in there, and you have that, that bite to it. So you go, you guys hear Steve Ray Vaughan, you that. With that, that natural in there, so... Uh, that's the when it changes and it goes to the B. That's what we're going to do for that. And then we're going to do the same thing here. It's a movable chord on the guitar. So all they all he's doing is is you know gets on that chord and, and strums it and then moves it down two frets and then you have the next chord, which is G C C sharp E. It's an A seven. But you put that C natural in there. Okay. So on this you can go uh, voodoo child. Up with that or whatever rhythm you want, but that's or you know, there's no piano on this, so we can do what we want, right? So, but those are the two chords, and then back to I'm gonna put the melody in there. I didn't do that exactly right, but... Alright, um, so the melody would fit in there if you wanted to make a, a cover of this, really work it out. But that's just kind of a bare bones thing to get you started, and you know, something fun to look at. Hope you guys enjoy it.